Hi everybody, welcome to the QB School. I'm JT O'Sullivan. Today, Baker Mayfield. Baker's back. Tell a friend. <laughs> I actually really like that song. I don't know if he's back or not. Let's dive into it. Four touchdowns. Check it out. Welcome to the QB School. All right, first touchdown here. Already up three. Three minutes left. First quarter. Big play action. Motion down to essentially a bunch. There's not a lot here. Fortunate to find Landry in the back of the end zone. Nice job ripping it in there. I think the first thing that comes to mind, mind for me is this is why you don't play a post safety inside the five. You know, they just don't take away anything. You can see what that middle field player does. Baker does a great job just quarterback wise going from one to two, but there's not a lot of options here. There really isn't. A little short motion. I think we're running something off the strong side. Really easy way to get to a pseudo bunch, but it really doesn't matter. Right here, this is where the ball ends up going. He goes outside leverage, which kind of confuses this back, this cornerback. He's able to come back in here and beat this middle field player. Why? Because Baker's eyes take him here originally. Well, I, I don't think it really matters, actually. He could stay there. He could look. You're never going to get back all the way across over to the end. But right here, whatever they got working down here, covered. So you go one to two up top, and that's it. That's all that's out. So, you know, somewhat fortunate, I think. Obviously, the Titans' defense, not a bad call if you know you're going to get post safety here. But, you know, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do down here at the bottom of the screen. That's a nice job by the corner. He's all over that. Nice job up top. Fortunate that the cornerback fell down. Again, I think it had something to do with the release down here. Now, that's a pretty, you know, I don't think you would think you would get that type of route to Landry up top at all versus inside leverage corner. Falls down. Nice job seeing it, ripping it. Again, just the pocket presence, I think, to go from one to two underneath the center. You know, 21 personnel, big fake, sell out. One, no, two, yes. Watch that middle field player one more time. You know, again, just defensive philosophically here, playing a middle field post player seven yards deep in the end zone. I don't quite get, but I mean, you can see he goes with the run. He goes with the first number one. Can't get back to Landry. Nice job. Great execution. Uh, first play of the second quarter. Everyone's seen this one. Really cool design. Little fake fullback dive. Fake pitch. Big guy out to the corner. Again, some deficiencies here. Obviously by the Titans. Who's got the eligible O-lineman. But this is a beautiful play design. More than anything else. Again, we talk about what scheming people open is. Scheming people open is when they're wide open. No one in the screen. So again, love the fact they've got some dudes back here on the back end. We're going to fake fullback dive. This is a long time old school play. Fake dive here, and you run pitch out here. And you don't block the last guy in the line of scrimmage usually. He's going to come out here, and it's just a foot race to the corner. That's the normal play. You can either give it to the dive, or if you like the pitch, if you like where this end man on the line of scrimmage is, you can pitch it out. But the play action off this, which I've seen a bunch of different ways, I like this variation. Big guy, or fast guy, fast guy, big guy right here. He engages, nice timing throws. Whoever has him, who knows, I would guess right here, loses their eyes into the backfield, and that's a wrap. That's how you get that wide open. Love seeing big guys score touchdowns. I think people sleep on how athletic even the worst NFL O-lineman is or backup offensive lineman. You can see him get up right here. These guys are athletic big dudes, mountains. Again, big sell, 49, poor 49s coming down. You know, you're inside the one, at the one. You got to stop the run, fake the dive, dive scores. Beautiful. Can't be right. Love it. Great play design. Love seeing the joy, the celebrations too with the Browns players right now. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications, let you know when we go live, when we put out new content. I appreciate the support. Then, if you want to learn how to beat every single coverage, check out the QB School tool. The link is in the description to the video. It is free. For example, the last clip of this video is going to be versus Cover 7. How do you beat Cover 7? What is Cover 7? Brackets, all sorts of different variations. Check it out. I think you'll dig it. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think. Let's keep this one going. Big double move up top. You know, shift on shifts. Middle field close. We'll talk about the coverage. Big play action under center. It's one thing to get the double move. Huge wide open corner bites, obviously issues on the perimeter on the back end for the Titans. 
But again, the play calling, this is the next play. First play of the next drive. You can see that shift here, second shift. But it's not just the double move for the touchdown. Obviously, nobody around. Baker, wide open. Again, wide open touchdowns. Nice job by the offensive architecture. I think the other thing for me thinking about here is just you see the shift to the shift. And I'm not sure exactly what that does other than rock and roll the safeties here. So we move back. We move down. Man to man. Man to man. Obviously, man to man on a double move here. And you just can't get toasted like that. But it's not just that, right? On the backside, if it wasn't there, that's the thing about watching film. It's one thing to watch the highlights. You want to be a fan, watch Sports Center. That's great. I like doing that too. But it's fun to watch the All-22 because you can go through the whole thing. What if this wasn't there? What if this was covered? What if this corner clamped him up? What would happen? Well, this over is wide open. W-A-O. So, I mean, the deficiencies from the Titans... Take no nothing away from the execution of the Browns. But you got to kind of scratch your head a little bit. I mean, come on. You know, if that corner runs with the double move and covers him, the over might score. I mean, it's crazy. It's just, I mean, you just don't see people this wide open this many times on a Sunday. You know, this is Friday night open. Friday afternoon open, maybe. Big time, though. Nice job by Baker. That's a really good feeling, getting a long touchdowns like that. Again, shift on shift. And watch everybody come up with the play fake. That's what a good run game does. A big power pass, power boot. Rip it. Nobody around him. Playing well under center. Really fun to see. Nice. Those are great feelings. Big time. Last one here. This is probably my favorite throw. Three by one. Versus brackets, cover seven. We'll talk about it the next time we watch it. Almost always going to get one-on-one -on -one to the field, to the outside number one receiver. And this is just a dime. It's in the bucket. Defensive coordinators are daring you to throw this if they're going to play brackets to three-by-one. They just don't think you're going to do it and that you're good enough to do it. And this is probably my favorite throw I've seen Baker make in a while. Nothing crazy about it, but just the execution of it. So what am I talking about when I'm talking about cover seven or brackets? We're basically going to get a three on two down here. That's what they're bracketing these three, depending on the releases of what's going on, specifically here. Then we're going to get a three on two right here. Okay. Not great at math, but let's just draw the lines to help me figure it out. On these two, well, what does that leave? Right here. Okay, this is one-on-one. -on -one. This is where you want to go. Bracket beater. Three by one to the number one receiver. He is locked up. Meg. Man everywhere he goes. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever alliteration of M you got. This is man on man. He's got him everywhere he goes. Check this thing out. Fade it to the field. In the red zone. Just a beautiful throw. They just don't believe you're going to do it. You can see that's not the technique we're looking for from the corner. Flat-footed, guessing, dime. Great job by Baker Mayfield. Just a really exciting, great vision, feeling it right there. That's that heat check from the logo. Boom. Gotcha. So that's a wrap. Baker Mayfield, the Browns, got it rolling. The Titans, some obvious deficiencies on defense, to say the least. But still... Interesting to see Baker Mayfield, Stefanski kind of come into their own as far as what they're doing offensively, under center, with the run game, with the play action game, some potential for them to make a little bit of a splash this year. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for hanging to the end. I will see you next time. Have a good one.